Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a white chicken chili using your slow cooker. I am super excited to share this recipe with you today. This is actually an award-winning chili, something that I made for a chili cook-off one time, and it won. So I enjoy making this at least once a month or so. It is a different type of chili to be sure, and to be honest with you, I don't know if it technically qualifies as a chili. What is chili in the first place? I've heard some people say that it's not chili if it has beans in it. I don't know. Let me know what your definition is, if you really even care or not. It tastes good to me, so you know, I'm gonna eat it. But what I love about this chili is that it is full of protein from all the chicken. It also has plenty of fiber as well from the black beans and the corn and the brown rice that I add to it. I also love how cheap it is and how I usually have most of the ingredients at home anyway. Black beans, corn. I usually have chicken in the freezer for when, from when I buy it on sale. Cream cheese I don't typically have, but it's one of the only ingredients I have to buy. Ranch dressing mix, diced tomatoes. That's all you need to make this really simple chili. And all you have to do is put all the ingredients in your slow cooker, put it in there for like six hours, and it is done by the time you get home. So if you're looking for an amazing comfort food to get you through this winter, this is it. Let me show you the ingredients and how it's made. Here are the basic ingredients for the chili. Now I'm not using all of this chicken. I actually just got this out of the freezer because I froze an entire package of chicken. But you're gonna need about a pound and a half and these guys are pretty big. So I would say they're all about like a pound and a half each. So I'll just grab one. But let's go ahead and get it all together. First, we lay this big old piece of chicken on the bottom and then we'll just layer everything else on top of it. Now, this is frozen chicken, as I said before. You can definitely cook frozen chicken in a slow cooker. I've been asked that before. But yes, as long as you cook it for however long, I usually keep mine in for six-ish hours. As long as the temperature reaches 165, it is perfectly safe to cook this in the slow cooker and it's not going to like contaminate anything somebody was worried about that everything cooks right along in here and now these beans have been drained and rinsed the diced tomatoes I will not drain and rinse now the one thing I will say is this corn right here I typically use a can of corn and I don't drain it or anything like that but since I'm using a bag of frozen corn, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra liquid. One thing to note about this recipe is that this chili is not very liquidous. So if you want kind of a thinner consistency, I would add some water or maybe some chicken broth. I just happen to have some chicken broth in the fridge, so I'm adding, that's probably like a cup, cup and a half to it. Next up is the cream cheese. And this will just sit right on top. You can probably stir this about halfway through cooking. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It really doesn't make a huge difference. Now this recipe also calls for a packet of ranch seasoning, but I didn't buy any. Um, Aldi was completely out. So instead, I'm kind of using my own little concoction here. So I've got garlic powder, onion powder, I have dillweed, parsley, and then salt and pepper. Those are some of the basic ingredients in a ranch seasoning mix. The chili powder I was going to add anyway because the recipe calls for it. But I'm just going to use like, I didn't, I'm not even going to measure to be honest with you. Just maybe a few shakes of it and that'll do it. Here we go, see you in about six hours. We still have another couple hours left on the chili, but I need to go ahead and start rice. Now, you don't have to have rice with this, but when I made this recipe for the first time, it was suggested to make rice to go with it, like to put it in. And you know, some chilies and soups 
do include rice. So that's what I've done and I just haven't stopped. So this chili recipe serves six people. So I'm gonna make enough for six servings of rice. It's usually about that much is equal to two servings. Did that three times. And then all I have to do is rinse this add it to my rice cooker here. I'm gonna fill it with the rest of the chicken broth that I have and then we'll cook it. Brown rice tends to cook a little bit longer so it's gonna take maybe an hour and a half or so to cook this. After about six hours, the chicken should be completely cooked. All you have to do now is give it a really good stir. The cream cheese is still in one giant block, but it's all melted, so all you have to do is stir it. And then next, I took out the big piece of chicken and I shredded it. Now, typically, I use my uh, KitchenAid mixer to shred because it's just so much easier and faster. Today, I didn't feel like dirtying up a huge bowl, so I just shredded it with a fork. But after being in the slow cooker for six-ish hours, this chicken was super soft and ready to be shredded. Next, I added the chicken back into the chili, stirred it up one more time, and it was ready to go. Like I said before, this serves six people. I put almost a cup of rice into a bowl, and then I'm not exactly sure how much chili was in there, probably like one and a half cups, two cups per serving. As you can see, it's very thick, so definitely add some more broth to it if you want to, but I thought this was perfect just as it is. Leave me a comment and let me know whether you've made any kind of chili like this before. I've got the recipe down in the description, so make sure you click on that and print it out so you can use it yourself. Different side ideas that you could use include salad. A salad would go really great with this. You could certainly have like a side of bread to go with it, but it is kind of carby due to the rice and beans, but if you don't care about that, I mean, bread is good. Tortilla chips are also good as well, especially because this chili is a little bit thicker. It's really good for dipping the tortilla chips into. But hopefully you found something new that you can add to your dinner rotation. To see more recipes like this, make sure you subscribe and like this video and then ring that bell so you'll be notified when more videos like this come out, as well as my other grocery hauls and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to chat with you.